Um, I was involved originally with the 2000-2001 WEMO plan uh, with route designation, route reduction, um, habitat conservation, and uh, after the lawsuit in 2006, uh, and then we're here today, and they're going to basically repeat all of the work that was done in 2000-2001, thousands and thousands of hours by individuals and agencies and groups. My recreation is under attack. Uh, my way of life is under attack. It is under attack by a well-funded, highly organized corporation that hire lobbyists to influence the policy. I don't want to get any of that. My recreation happens to be quiet camping and hiking. It's under attack by noisy off-road vehicles that speed up and down trails and leave the tracks in our nation's natural settings. This 13,000 miles of routes that Mr. Waldheim was talking about were actually rabbit trails and cattle trails that had been turned into motorcycle trails in a canyon called the Rastray Canyon that was spaghetti marked uh, red and green routes on the first Wemo map that was almost impossible to follow. Public lands belong to everybody. Not one group, not just people who like to camp quietly. It belongs to everybody, and we need to figure out how everybody can be included in, in getting the type of use they need. Um, but that's a really important feature here. We feel that we've lost an awful lot, and we're terrified of what we see out there with all the alternative energy projects, um, people wanting to designate more con conservation areas that, that close off access to us, um, and elderly and handicapped people, they have just as much right to be able to go out as you do. And they can't hike. They, don't, they aren't capable of hiking to, to, you know, miles and miles to go to where they want to go. They have to. Got to hand it to old Doug. He's, he hasn't slowed up a bit in the last five, six years. But anyway. Well, Doug, say the same for you, Jen. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I was on the original survey team with the uh, for Wemo, and I surveyed on a motorcycle, and I helped put 1,200 miles worth of trails. Some of them went through Doug's spot too, you know, but... ...size of minimization. I still have to find where that minimization is in the books. I cannot find it anywhere. When we designated the trails, how you doing? Man, it's been a long time since you've been around. I haven't seen you. I haven't seen you. The designation of the routes were based on the high intensive use, limited use of the vegetation and, and the biological opinion and things like that. That's how we came up with the route. What I don't want to see us do in the BLM do is fail again, because failure is not an option to us. Again, the OHV program has put millions of dollars in the Bureau of Land Management, and I intend to make doggone sure that any grants that come up in the future have very specific requirements that the Bureau of Land Management does to implement the designated route system, whatever that route system is. Can become a democracy and uh, bureaucracy and all this kind of stuff that we're going through. I didn't realize it's a big problem. I always thought everybody owned a piece of the land just like you and I do. I always thought we're just brothers and sisters having fun. Yes, we do have a bad few apples, and that's the hard part, and that's the hard issue to take care of the few bad apples. But uh, I don't have the authority to do that. Before that, uh, I thought I heard someone else mentioning that. Uh, we have all these lawsuits. Well, the reason that environmental groups bring suit is because it's the only thing that seems to work. Claim that somebody seeks uh, relief through the courts, but it's better than the alternative, which is violence. 